Music has the power to educate. And what I mean by that is music is literally a second language to everyone across the world in so many different communities, different cultures. The one thing that people can really relate to is music. Here we go. So Ripple Creators Program just started as something like an, an idea. And, uh, you know, Kiana Bowman, the director of The Mix, had asked me to overlook the studio. So when I started doing that, I noticed that this was not just a recording studio. This was a safe space for those kids to express themselves because they don't get that opportunity outside of school um, or maybe even in school. They don't have music that they can go and actively like put down. They can listen to music, no problem. And they can also write. So a lot of these kids were already writing, but to come into this space and actively record their music, hear themselves back, that was another story for them. The Ripple Creators program is always broken down into eight weeks. And I do that intentionally so that we have um, something to look forward to, right? We're just not getting in the studio and creating, which is cool, don't get me wrong, but more so there has to be intention behind it. What I've learned through this program is that the kids have a lot of trauma that they've grown up with. And this is the space that they feel safe enough to let that out. And through this program, for these kids, it has educated them, it's instilled confidence, it has had them work together in spaces that they've never worked with each other before. It, it's gotten them to understand their classmates' lives and where they come from, the different backgrounds that are around them and the environments that they come from. And it's helped them really grow these relationships and, and build relationships through music. The intention behind this program is to always have the kids showcase their work that they've worked on for the past two months. So for them to be able to have a music festival in their name and them to say, this is the Mixed Kids Music Festival, them to go to school and say, hey, we're having a music festival. We're putting together a music festival. That's next level. They got to pick where everything went. They got to pick the food that was there, the vendors that came. They got to set up with us, the tables, the chairs. They got to learn how the sound equipment was set up. They got to see the stage being set up, the photo booth. We did it big. Some of my favorite feedback, personally, has been, how do I continue music as a career? And for me, I feel like that sits right with me because I've always been told this is a hard career to get into. You're not gonna make much money from it unless you're the best. Or how are you gonna do that? I don't think it's possible, right? I've heard all these things throughout my life and I feel that when I'm in this position, providing this program for these students, it lets them see another side. It lets them see what's possible. I think it's revolutionizing the way that we educate our next generation. From the roads, I stick to my goals. This program, has only scratched the surface. It has only shown our community what is possible. Now what I need to do as a collective with all of our community organizations and partners is to show them this and say, hey, this is possible across central Pennsylvania. I think that the way that the kids learn now is starting to be noticed by school boards and the wider audience and community that it might not be working the same that it worked 20 years ago. So now as we push forward with the way that we educate the kids through music or through, through STEM, through engaging learning, that's really gonna be the center of how our next generation and generations to come learn. I do wanna thank uh, Music For Everyone, The Mix, and John Gertie for believing in this program. And uh, of course, f and for funding this section of the project. F&M is the catalyst of why this has even started. So thank you to those organizations for partnering with us. This is just the beginning and um, we need to continue leaning on our organizations to help us build what this is becoming. What I tell every organization that looks into the program is if you want to be at the front, of revolutionizing the way that we educate our next generation, come with us. This is this is this is where we start. Run it up, run it up.
Burn it up, they like Barney, yo, nice days, I'm feeling cool. MJ, Chicago Bulls, burn it up, burn it up, burn it up, like Barney, yo, there I go, breaking the rules, gold medal, this ain't for fools. Burn it up, burn it up, burn it up.